Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create the stretch effect in Photoshop. I saw this ongoing trend on the internet. Everyone is doing it, so I decided to do it also. Try it out, see what happens, and show you how to do it. All right, select your model, and let's duplicate this layer of the model. As you can see, this is the model. Drag and drop to the little plus. And we're going to select the marquee tool, which is located right here. Click on it. I'm gonna stretch out the shirt on it, the hoodie, you know, the hat, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna just go from here with the marquee tool and create a line like this. Press Ctrl T and just drag it all the way to the left and press Enter. Press Ctrl D so you can dis deselect. As I mentioned, we created a new, uh, you know, two layers. The original is this one, and you know, this is the stretch version. Now, you know, this looks kind of awkward, this line, which is going on here, and we're gonna need to, you know, melt together with the hoodie. So we're gonna create a new mask on it. So this is the mask, click on the mask, and select, you know, the black color. Make sure it's 100% black. Select the brush, which is located somewhere around here, and just, you know, paint on it. I'm gonna paint it out all the way so I can see where the hoodie ends and I'm gonna switch it to white so I can recolor it. As you can see it starts to like recolor it on the layer. This little black basically shows you when, when everything is erased with black and with white basically you're gonna put it back. So I'm gonna do this with the rest and I'm gonna show you how to um, twist it also. So from here we're gonna create some uh, copies from these stretched areas. So I'm gonna show you how. Select the marquee tool again and select uh, some of the stretches. I'm gonna select this part. Make sure you don't select this gray area also, which I, you don't select the background. You basically select only the stretched area. Like so. I'm gonna select this one here. I'm gonna press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. And now basically created a new layer with the stretch effect. So I'm gonna stretch this out and I'm going to stretch this out also. The I gotta do it with the background this time because I'm just gonna freestyle this out. So I'm gonna do it uh, together with the shoe from here to here. We gonna distort these okay i'm gonna start with the orange press ctrl t and as you can see up here this little thing switch between free transform and warp modes so basically you can warp this uh, text so as you can see we got some anchor points going on and we got the direct selection tool as we have it in adobe illustrator so we got this uh you know anchor point right here just click on it and drag it upwards right here and we got this also actually i'm gonna drag it here so i can grab this other anchor anchor point and drag it down so basically i switched it and I'm gonna work with the handles here, arrange these a little bit. All right, it's gonna look something like this. Make sure that it's uh, nice and natural. Press enter. So what I need to do, actually I'm gonna make a new copy of the model, you know, with the edited model, which is stretched out. So I'm gonna deselect the original stretched out model. I'm gonna go here to the mask, click on the mask and we're gonna press B or the brush tool and we're gonna delete these areas. Also make sure that you're on the black right now, it's on the white, so switch it and start, you know, deleting these areas here. And it looks 
looks something like this. It's really interesting. Next thing, we're gonna add some shading. We're gonna add some shadows. So I'm gonna go back to this layer, which is distorted. And uh, I'm gonna add a new layer on this one and I'm gonna go on this layer with the pen tool. I'm gonna press P where you can go here to the pen tool and just select this zone, which is going up here. And basically this is under. So I'm gonna work it out like this. And there you go, right click. Make selection, make sure you're on the zero, click OK. So now it's selected. And I'm gonna go with the brush, click on the brush, scale it up, decrease the hardness to minimum so we can create some nice shading. Uh, and so, you know, pick a color from the darker area of the photo. For example, for me, darker colors are in this brown area. So I picked with the eyedropper tool, press I and select the eyedropper tool, which is uh, located right here and just pick some dark color, okay? And work with that so you don't use a pure black because that won't match. Press Ctrl D, so it's gonna deselect it. I'm gonna erase some of the parts from here because... And gonna go to the layers, uh, you know, select your multiply. Actually, it doesn't do anything, but you can decrease the opacity. So I'm gonna decrease it a little more. So yeah, this is more natural. It looks like more like, you know, it, it's flowing naturally in that area. And I'm gonna do the same, th same trick with the rest here. And voila, there you have it. So yeah, this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos. And have a good day. Bye-bye.